So when we're looking at this example, all right, so there's a couple things I want you guys to look at, or first to like understand. You don't need to write this down um, when you're doing these problems, but I think guys, like conceptually, it's important to understand the identity function, right? The parent graph, the parent function, is absolute value of x. Yes? All right. And we can see that there's transformations. Now, I don't have any transformation to this x, so I'm not going to include the b. Well, actually, let's just write it out. Well, no, I don't want to include the b. So if I was just going to look at the transformations, my notes were only in function notation. But here, you guys can see, here is where kind of everything is written, a, c, and d, right? So now I can recognize, oh, I have an a. Ooh, the a is negative. So I remember from my notes, that means the graph is reflected by the x-axis, right? I have a c. If it's minus c, minus 1, that means I'm going to shift the graph c units to the right. And again, another thing to like look at, another way to look at this, think of it as x minus c. Do you guys see how c is positive inside the parentheses, right? So it's really one unit to the right, because really inside the parentheses, 1 is positive. So anyways, oh, we'll, do I have another example like that? Dang it, I didn't do that. Oh, wait, this one. I'm going to change that one to a positive. All right, so anyways, this one's going to be shift. Um, shift one unit right. So shift right, one. And then we can see we have a plus two on the outside, which is D. So that's going to be um, shift up two. OK, so we should know that. We should kind of know that. The third thing we should know is, what does absolute value of x look like? Well, the absolute value graph, remember, is the v-shaped graph. Okay. Now, I didn't ask you to graph the, v, the graph, but I think it's helpful to understand the transformations. This graph is being reflected about the x-axis, so that means I'm taking this graph and flipping it. right? So now it's facing down. I'm shifting this graph one unit to the right. So you can take this vertex here, shift it one unit to the right and then up two units. And then, now I can just redraw the graph. Okay, So the domain of my original function was negative infinity to infinity. Does it, obviously guys, does it really matter whatever I do? If the domain's negative infinity to infinity, it doesn't matter what I do to the function, the domain's going to still be negative infinity to infinity. However, the range was originally 0 to infinity. And as you guys can see, now that it got flipped down, the lowest it goes is negative infinity, and the highest the graph goes is 2, where 2 is included. Okay. So it's important to know those graphs. It's important to know um, how to identify those uh, transformations.